seventh floor. The boss here, I believe, is the baby dragon that Alligato and Beat had to beat. Maybe since I want Pogo to go level. Oh yeah. Now he's sporting a coat of white. What, he thinks he's... Uh, no, I'm not gonna go there. It's the red eyes white dragon. Yeah, Don't I be such it. a crybaby. Oh. Its attack this time is Icy Breath. So first it was a fire type, now it's a nice type. Yeah, I barely got that. Single touch. Damn, I had a chance to counter! I think that's for yeah. That's better. Uh, March. Nothing new. Right on. Nothing new. Much better. And uh, nothing new. Great. I like their health just frozen there. It's like, ah, uh, all right. I'm supposed to explode, right? What the 
hell? In music, you're presented with a variety of sounds and expressions over time. What the it's hell? It's an art where you enjoy an arrangement of time that changes from moment to moment. In contrast to that, a painting always stays the same, even after thousands of years. But then the world and the feelings drawn on that canvas can be shared by people in the past and in the future. If those two art forms were to be combined, I think that even God would be able to appreciate the resulting creation. Why are we bring God into these conversations? An art form that would be appreciated by God? Yes. Imagine a music that could make us feel space and dimension. What? And pictures that would make us feel time and experience motion. Whatever kind of art it is, you would need to use more than one of your senses to understand it. It's more important to feel it with your heart. But let me ask you, does that idea really apply only to the arts? No. What? Maybe there's something else that's even closer to us. Something that can only be understood by feeling it with our hearts. Like our emotions? And the sands are now sinking on the east side also. Huh. Yeah, so I'm gonna say at the bottom once we reach it. You know, you're supposed to work with the player. Don't be such a crybaby. Yeah, there's a new enemy here. Well, kind of. This is the life form of these little guys right here. Are you catching on yet? It's called the Black Onyx. Nothing. Right on! Well, 55, 56, I mean. Nothing. Much better. Well, 56, nothing. Well, 49, nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing. Ah, there we go. Terra Externa. Attack all enemies with the power of Earth. Okay. Yeah, so we still land. Jeez, you still only have two dark attacks. Let's go down. So yeah. Awkward, isn't it? Now you're supposed to go that way and I don't know if there's a save point that way or not. What the hell? Okay, so I don't know if there's a save point somewhere down these I don't know where's my next save point, so I'm gonna go back up and <laughs> save very quickly. 
And we're gonna cut out that there with the second I find my save point. Leave the closest. Once you enter the freaking tower. No, 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 bad mouth, bad. Wait, shoot, shoot, shoot. Right there. So, we're gonna save right here. Uh, yeah, this tower is freaking long and annoying, as you can tell. Um, we're at level 56, so next time we go to the base of the tower and find out what was up those stairs. So join me next time. All right, see you then.